What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the eFootball Championship Volume 1 club selection. Now this dropped as well as the England Derby Day, Liverpool versus Manchester United for the upcoming match that that's going to be had uh, in the Premier League. Obviously United riding high after the Carabao Cup. I had to get that in as a United fan. But uh, commiserations to Newcastle fans. It was a good game, I thought. Um, but Casemiro Beeston. So, so yeah, we are going to get on with this. And uh, there are a lot of players in this, man. There's, you know, there's 16 players, right? We're not going to focus on them all. Um, but we will touch on them all and, and, and kind of like highlight the best ones, in my opinion. There's a couple of hidden gems in here. Um, a couple of people saying that Kimmich is actually broken, that he doesn't level up. I'm not too sure um, because I don't have Kimmich signed in this. Now, we will try and spin as well to see uh, who we get towards the end of this video. But I'll try and keep it short-ish and sweet-ish. Um, and we will start with some of the players that I don't think I'm going to be focusing too much on, right? First up, we've got, we've got Matic. Matic is actually an interesting player, lads, because he's got 30 levels to go, right? And most of the time, when you're looking at a player um, that has got 30 levels, you're saying, yeah, he can actually train up to be a bit of a beast. But I think that he's just a little bit too slow. Now, with the way that the gameplay has gone at the moment, you don't have to worry too much about speed. Um, and this is why Matic, I think, as an anchorman, is going to be a little bit OP, I think. Like, especially this card. Now, I know all these cards, lads, right? They're very similar to their basic cards. Matic's version here is similar to his standard card. Obviously, his standard card here, we'll have a look in a second, is 73 overall with 35 levels. This card is 78 overall with 30 levels. So, you know, the real key, I think, difference for this card is obviously you're going to be able to get it uh, with coins and you can spin them. You can guarantee yourself that you get all of these players if you want to. There's no limit on the... On the on the box, so to speak. Um, but when we're actually training to manage up here, before we do that, look at the stats that he has, man, right? So he's got standard form. That's fine. He's on C rating. Okay, that's obviously a knock on him. Blocker and interception is huge. That is kind of where the game is at at the moment. But the thing I like about Manage the most is the fact that even though he's got 58 levels that he can go, right, or 58 progression points when we get him over here, he's already got a really solid base, tight possession, low pass, and also... Uh, dribbling and ball control so we don't need to train that up too much like you know two or three into that two or three into that get the tight possession up we can revisit that in a sec if we want to um, but you're going to have with very little input there you know 80 tight possession 80 low pass and 81 loft to pass which is really good we're not going to focus or concentrate on his defensive awareness dexterity has kind of lost a lot of its uh, you know I, I think importance uh, would be the best way of putting it right and I think it's more important now to have stamina, right? Even if we get that to 75, we're not worried about speed for a card like this. All we're worried about with this card is basically having him as defensive as possible and being able to pass, right? So once we hit kind of a soft spot here of 90 tackling, that's going to be something that we kind of think, right, have we enough points put into that there? If you just want to sit back anchorman that's going to do very little but block the ball and be kind of like your Makalele type player, I think genuinely pump the rest in. Once you have this base, depending on your play style and your tactics, you can pump the rest into that to go 16 into defending, right? We also have the option of putting 9 into low into aerial strength if we want to go that route, if we want to have him as a boss midfield, or we else we do have the passing where we can get up to 87 low pass. Now, with the way that the passing is at the moment, I think keep it at 80. I think add 4 into that and then add 3 into that to bring you a beastly DMF. He's one of the best DMFs apart from his acceleration and speed. The speed and acceleration don't really matter in V2.4 as much as they did, lads. And a lot of people will have trained players up wrong, including me. I'll have trained players wrong. I'll have uh, given training guides that were for V2.3 or before that would have been very successful. Um, but now I do think that this Matic card does kind of like signal in a bit of a change with V2.4, right? We also have, not to kind of gloss over, but there's a lot of players to get through here, right? We have Sergio Roberto. He's kind of a traditional kind of standard enough right back. He does have blocker. He does have pinpoint crossing and one touch pass as well as early crosser. Good stats. He goes 29 levels. A good player as well. Uh, I always like a bit of Sergio Roberto. He's having a great season for Barca. Um, but he's just kind of a standard right back. We also have, uh, who else do we have? Volant here again. This guy is just a kind of a standard uh, center forward as well. Not really to shout home about unless you're you know a fan of him or a fan of the club he plays for. Christian Eriksen, we know we've covered a lot of classic number 10s. He does have some nice uh, passes, uh, passing player skills and all that. But uh, I do think one touch pass, true passing away to pass are key for a player if you're going to be using him as a Kevin De Bruyne or you're going to be using him as a Modric or using him as a Pedri. 
but it's very hard to look past Pedri because you've got all of this plus you've also got speed and acceleration now if you do sign him I will be doing kind of like a specific training guide on classic number 10s very soon um, and I will go through that in a bit more but I don't think Ericsson is too much to to get excited about Dzeko is also the same right so we've got Dzeko here who has got really nice stats he's got one touch pass as a center forward he doesn't have unwavering form his speed and acceleration are not the biggest issue for me in this card I think his biggest issue is the fact that he only goes 22 levels and he's got a lot of stats that need to be boosted up unless you header the ball a lot and headers and crosses have been a little bit nerfed in v2.4 so again i don't think you're going to lead the line with echo if you've got mbappe or something on the bench right so moving on from that we do have the rest of the players that we're going to go through in more detail starting with eddie himself uh he's having a wonderful season obviously um for arsenal very very good stats and obviously the key one here is super sub so that kind of tells you how you should be playing him don't be starting him. bring him on as a super sub goal poacher he will score goals for you he's kind of like jesus he's kind of like somebody like um you know that can pop up and in and out of space very 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 effectively i've come up against him a few times playing like online matches and he does give me a bit of a bit of trouble right so if we are going training him here we go to an 89 overall but look at the stats man 91 acceleration 87 balance a lot of people get confused about why you train up such dexterity right but the key for a player uh, with dexterity is not all about acceleration it's for balance and offensive awareness right if you've got a center forward that has under 80 offensive awareness he's not going to make the runs in unless it's high enough that he makes the runs in when you're not controlling him right because you can only control one player at one time right so 84 finishing is quite solid as well and then we've pumped a lot into dribbling nine into dribbling it's probably a little bit over the top with the dribbling like we could get one more into shooting to bring it up to 85 if we wanted to do that but i think speed and stamina are good enough as is there we also have diati he's kind of a similar player uh, except he plays on the right mid so there's a lot of players like this that are in the game there's a lot of wingers i will be doing a video on whether you should play right mids or right wingers with v2.4 um i've been working on it for a while but yeah he's got some nice skills uh nice player skills nice player ai um and he also has speed and acceleration in the 90s i think what lets him down is his passing if you are going to be using him as a traditional right midfielder and crossing balls in uh, i think he's more suited as a winger and i definitely would play him as a winger and a speed freak that's how he's trained up here with 12 into dribbling it's probably a little over the top but he does have nice stamina speed and balance for a winger we also do have brahim diaz one of my favorite players that i've used in my hidden gem series um he is a very very good attacking midfielder we've just been spoiled for choice with attacking midfielders lads this guy has it all he's one touch pass he's also got true passing he's got a load of player skills that suit dribblers um even though dribbling i think is a little bit hit and miss it is still good i think in v2.4 it when it works um but the rest of his his card is quite decent he goes up to a 91 overall and i do quite like this card if i do spin it i probably would play him quite a bit but we have a couple of versions of him we have the player of the week version of him we have the standard version of him we have the ac milan pack version of him i think i have him um so he is a fairly decent player but again we've just been depending on when you're picking up this game if you're a newcomer you'll find him extremely good as well as this guy kalulu i think he's the pick of the pack lads right so bear with me i know kimmich is there i know san is there then Bele. but look at this guy's stats man insane you don't need to focus anything right you don't need to focus anything on his speed his acceleration his stamina his like nothing right his low pass and his lofted pass we don't need that right now i've pumped 10 into dribbling right just to get to dribbling up to 70 but to be honest with you lads i think you should just train this guy um into the 70 with the ball control there and just hoof the ball when you get it and then obviously we can train up the rest there we can give him one point into acceleration as well or else one point into aerial strength we're not going to be using him as an aerial guy at all because he's not that tall he's only 183 so i would be using this guy as a really good um right back kind of or a, a third center back playing on the left or the right flank look at the speed he has right look at the acceleration look at the actual physical contact and jump he has off the rip without training anything then we've got five into dribbling and then we've got 17 into defense to bring him into the low 90s with the defense now right i don't know if there's another player in the game that has that speed acceleration mix with the tight possession and the defense in the 90s like that i know tiago silva and koulibaly and those guys have really high defensive awareness and tackling and aggression but i don't think they have the speed so we'll have to check that out 
He is a beast. He looks like a beast, and I think a lot of people will be using him, especially he's on B form. We also have Mancini, so this guy is more of a traditional centre-back. Um, he's going to be obviously a little bit slower, but he's still got 70 pace uh, for across both. Good stamina, very solid tight possession at 70. Header, more of a well-rounded centre-back. There's just a lot of these guys. Obviously, he's got blocker and interception. Kalulu does not have blocker. He does have interception, but he's lacking on player skills. That kind of balances him out a little bit. Then both centre-backs have got standard form. We've also got this guy, DeMarco. I think he's a beast. We've got two ways of training him as well. This is a defensive version of him. If you don't want to go defensive, if you want to be attacking down the flank on the left, if you want to be using him as a kind of a midfielder, a left midfielder, you can get rid of these until you've just got 75. And then you can pump the rest into either dexterity if you want him to have him very attacking. And you can put two in there and then another two into passing. That gives you another option with him. Look at those stats. Balance is perfect. Dribbling is really high. Speed acceleration for a left back or a left midfielder. That is fairly decent. He's got some excellent player skills as well. Pinpoint cross and outside curler. As well as interception and early cross. So he'll be a defensive minded left or uh, left back or left midfielder. We've got Dzeko who we focused on earlier. So we don't need to focus too much on him. Even though he does train up. We're going to use him as an aerial bombardment. He's not going to be worth worth I don't think using uh De Gea goes to 90 goalkeeper reflexes 91 goalkeeper reach this is how I would train him he does have low punt and long throw which are the two main ones he's on a form I will probably try him out lads if I do spin him I will probably try him out because of the a form but again I focus on a lot of goalies lately we focus on Allison as well Dembele if in my opinion the best winger in the game apart from his form that's the thing that kills this card is his form and is the fact that he is never usually up, right? He's, when he's up, he's an instant in my team. A little bit concerning is his stamina, so you do need to train that up. But we're going to have 94 dribbling, 93 acceleration, and 90 speed. And I genuinely think Dembele is the best dribbler in the game apart from Neymar. But what you, what you get in Dembele um, that you don't get in Neymar is just pure raw being able to beat players for pure trickery. I mean, Neymar is all about double touch, touch and go, cu cutting in and shooting. Dembele is like a traditional winger. He can't shoot. He can't really cross. He's literally just going to be like kind of sweating up the middle or up the wing, stretching players, having that dangerous man on the bench if you want to bring him on as well is always good because of his form. But that was how I would train him. We've also got Sané. So if Dembele is on the right, Sané is on the left. Sané, one of my probably most underrated players. He's on B form again this week. He's had a range of cards, but I think this card is very, very strong. 96 overall he's got the same kind of stats as Dembele except this guy can shoot right so if you are going to be using him you can obviously use him right wing and cut in instead of Dembele and then you can bring Dembele on from the bench uh, but I think he is up there with Dembele as one of the top five wingers in the game speed acceleration his stamina is a little bit of a, a worry because you need to put eight points in you're still only going to get eight, uh, 73 overall but I do think that for the rest of it, if you're splitting your time between your wingers and, and subbing him off after 60, 70, 70 minutes, uh, you're going to get the best out of him. We've also got Odegaard. Again, we've got Brahim Diaz and Odegaard. We've got a load of attacking midfielders. I've covered Odegaard quite extensively in the last week, I think it was. Um, very good player. Balance is high. Ball control is high. All the dribbling stats that you could possibly want. He's also got all the player skills you could possibly want. A very solid card, especially if you're an Arsenal fan. He is definitely worth a pop if you are looking for something different because he can shoot as well. He's got that curl. He's also got true passing and no look pass, which is quite unique. That blend there. Long ball expert is always nice as well as long range shooting. Now, last but not least, we have Kimmich. A lot of people saying that Kimmich doesn't track up um, like he does here, right? So obviously in game is going to be different, but he goes to a 94 in the database here. Uh, 90 stamina, 88 ball control, 87 type possession. He basically has the perfect stats for his role. I think he's probably one of the best DMFs. I prefer him right back because if you boost up his stamina a little bit, you're going to be able to bombard up and down the right flank as much as you possibly want. He doesn't have blocker on this card, right? Some of his cards, I think, should have blocker. Um, we do have a couple of them here uh, of the different cards, like the Germany pack and stuff, that are slightly better, I would say, because he goes 25 levels. But this guy is no slouch, man. This guy goes to 18 levels. The Germany pack was obviously way better, but I still think he's a dominant card. This card was very strong as well, but he, this is one is even better. He had a couple of player of the weeks as well uh, that goes to 95. So I think this guy is somewhere in the middle. Uh, obviously, the German pack was going to be the best, but I think this one is a very, very, very strong pack. So yeah, the German pack that you have here is pretty much identical apart from the ball control and the offensive awareness. So make of that what you want. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. A slightly big video, but pretty much 16 players covered there. I don't think I forgot any. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to spin or skip? There's no limit on these. So if you wanted the 16 players, you can actually get all the 16 players that you want. So you can keep going until you get who you, who you want. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back in a bit. Thanks for checking out. Peace.